Hi family, Pastor Bill with your Friday briefing. We got some exciting things happening around the church as usual. Getting ready for a great weekend, a great message on Sunday, but I wanna show you something that'll get, maybe get you excited as we look uh, getting ready on Sunday. As you can see, we've got our parking lot back. Uh, they've striped the most of it, and this is, uh, they're working on finishing all the signs and all the things for getting us ready to park in here. But they're making headway, and again, it's all part of the changes and the growth of First Baptist as we're continuing to build God's church. Uh, you can see what's going on behind me here in these buildings. They're, they're just moving amazingly fast on that. We're going to have neighbors coming in there that I know is going to bring us a lot of children and youth and, and more couples. So it's going to be an exciting time. This Sunday's message is going to be on busyness. Now, I know that many of you can relate to this as you think about your days, how long your to-do list is, and how you never seem to have enough time to get all the things done that you want to. Well, we're going to look at God's antidote to busyness this week. And of course, we're still in Psalm 23. We're looking, this is only the second part of that, and we're gonna be spending the next few weeks breaking down Psalm 23 to the different antidotes that God has for the stress in our lives. And many of you have shared with me that you like these kind of messages because you wanna know how to handle the stress and the challenges that continue to come into your life. I wanna share with you one thing that, uh, that a note that I found on what about busyness, busy, busy stands for being under Satan's yoke. So be thinking about that if you're struggling with busyness in your life right now. Come and let Brother Justin and I give you the antidotes to busyness this Sunday. We'll look forward to it.